So today we're going to look at multiplying binomials. Let's start with the warm-up. This is something that you covered in first semester. Solve for x if you have x plus 3 squared equals 16. So for a problem like this, uh, first step would be to get rid of the squared by taking the square root. So we have x plus 3. So we have x plus 3 will be 4 because the square root of 16 is 4. And also x plus 3 will equal negative 4 because um, negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. So the square root of 16 is also negative 4. Then we solve each one so we can subtract 3 from each side of each equation. And we get two answers. x is 1 and x is negative 7. You can test your answer by plugging in 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 squared is 16, negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4, and negative 4 squared is also 16. Now, what I often saw students doing first semester is solving by trying to distribute. So a lot of students would try to take the squared and distribute it. And that is wrong. So let's go over why it's wrong. Why can't you distribute the squared if there are two terms or more? Because we did study something like this. If we had 3x squared, we knew that we could distribute that and get 9x squared. But here there's two terms. There's this plus between them. Why can't we distribute the squared? So I'll try to illustrate it with this example. Let's do order of operations. Let's add 4 plus 3, which is 7, and get 7 squared, which is 49. This is the correct answer. If you were to tr try to distribute, let's see if we get the same thing. So we would get 4 squared plus 3 squared, and that would be uh, 16 plus 9. Is 16 plus 9 49? No, it's 25. So you cannot distribute if there are two terms or more. All right, we could also solve this using something called the area model. So let me show you that. All right, so 4 plus 3 squared using the area model looks like this. I'm going to draw a box. And I'll do 4 plus 3 times 4 plus 3 and find the area of each of these boxes. So the first box is a 4 by 4 box. The area is 16. The second box is 3 by 4, or 12. Then we have a 4 by 3, so I'm looking 4 by 3. This is 12. And this is 3 by 3, which is 9. If we add up all of these terms, we get 49. So we're going to take this area model and extend it to find the area of an x by x box, x plus 5 times x plus 1. And we'll look at other binomials and multiply them out. So the first one we know that an x by x squared, uh, the area of that is x squared. Well, what if we do x plus 5 times x plus 1? That's x squared because it's x times x. Here we have 5 times x, which is 5x. Here we have x times 1, which is x. And here we have 5 times 1, which is 5. And then we can combine like terms, and the area of this box is x squared plus 6x plus 5. Let's try a few more of these where we find the area. So we have x plus 3 times x plus 3. I like to write it diagonally like this. Find the area of each box. We have x squared. We have 3 times x, which is 3x. x times 3, which again is 3x. And 3 times 3, which is 9. So this is x squared plus 6x plus 9. Let's try the next one. This will be x plus 6 times x plus 3. This is x squared plus 6x, 6 times x. Here's x times 3, or 3x. And here's 6 times 3, which is 18. So if we add those together, we get x squared plus 9x plus 18. Let's try some more. We have 2x plus 7 times x minus 2. So the minus goes with the 2. This is 2x times x, which is 2x squared. 7 times x is 7x. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. And 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. Let's combine like terms. We get 2x squared minus 20, uh, sorry, that's not 28x. So 7 minus 4 is 3x minus 14. And then if we do this one right here, we'll have 4x minus 2. I'll just write it up here instead. And then x plus 2. So we'll have 4x squared minus 2x. Um, 4 times 2 is 8x, and negative 2 times 2 is negative 4x. So if I write this out, we have 4x squared plus 6x. Oh, and this, I'm sorry, this isn't 4x. Uh, minus 4. So let's double check our work. 4x squared, that looks good. Okay, so those are our answers. All right, let's see if I can pull up workspace here.
All right, let's try um, looking at these two binomials, and then um, in another podcast, I might have to podcast the rest of that. All right, so here we have a binomial and a trinomial, three terms, but we can still multiply it out the same. We have x squared minus 3, and here this is x squared minus 2x plus 1. Everywhere there's a plus or minus, you can draw a line, and we can multiply this out. So x squared times x squared is... Um, x to the fourth. Negative 2x times x squared is negative 2x to the third. You have 1x here and 2x here is 2x here. Uh, one, at, 1 times x squared is 1x squared. So to the bottom, we have x squared times negative 3 is negative 3x squared. We have negative 2x times negative 3, which is 6x. And we have negative 3 times 1, which is negative 3. So if I write that all out and combine like terms, we have x to the fourth minus 2x to the third. I can combine these x squareds. So this is negative 2x squared plus 6x minus 3. So you can use the area model to solve for these as well. Just keep in mind x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times x is x to the third. All right, now I'm going to see if my workspace, if I can get it to work again. And then we'll finish the podcast if possible. All right, so now let's go over um, number six, and then we'll look at one last method for solving. All right, so number six, again, we have a trinomial, three terms, times the binomial. Draw your lines, multiply it out. 3x squared times x is 3x to the third. x times x is x squared. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. 3x squared times 6 is 18x squared. x times 6 is 6x. Negative 5 times 6 is negative 30. Let's rewrite it, combining like, like terms. 3x to the third plus 19x plus or minus x minus 30. Okay, now there's another method for multiplying out binomials. You can FOIL. So maybe you heard, you've heard of that before. So FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, last. And I'll show you a few examples of FOIL. So if you prefer to do that, you can FOIL. Um, it's easier to do with two binomials. It's a little bit harder to do with these problems right here. So then I would use the box. All right, so FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. So let's do the first set of bino uh, the first binomial. First means multiply the first two terms. So we get x squared. Um, O stands for outside, so we multiply the two outside numbers, so x times 1 is 1x. I stands for inside, you multiply the two inside terms, 5 times x is 5x. And then L is last, stands for multiplying the last two terms, 5 times 1 is 5. And then if we combine those, we get x squared plus 6x plus 5. You would get the same thing if you use the rectangle. So if you understand FOIL and want to use FOIL, you definitely can. Let's try a few more with FOIL. Um, let's do number seven. So again, first stands for the first two terms. O stands for outer. I stands for inner. Negative six times x is negative six x. And L stands for last. Negative six times two is negative 12. Combine like terms and we'll get x squared minus four x minus 12. All right, let's try uh, one more. Let's try this one down here. Actually, let's do two more. Let's do one with a negative. All right, so here we have x squared. And then we have the outer. So x times negative 4 is negative 4x. We have the two inner terms. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. And then we have the two last terms. Negative 5 times negative 4 is 20. Combine like terms, and we'll get x squared minus 9x plus 20. Okay, let's do number 10. Number 9 is similar to number on oh, the first example. All right, let me take a screenshot. All right, last one with FOIL. And again, you can always use the box, too. All right, 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 2 is 4x. The inner terms, 1 times x is x. And the last terms, 1 times 2 is a 2. Combine like terms, you get 2x squared plus 4x, 5x, sorry, plus 2. There's your answer. So your assignment today will be to multiply these out. Um, you can choose FOIL or using the box. You have a few where you have a trinomial, three terms, and then you might want to use the box to solve.